The Inquisition is on everyone's lips. Even the Assembly has taken an interest. I'm told King Balin wished to meet you personally, but the Deshers talked him down. The earthquakes present too great a risk. When the previous king died, Orzammar nearly fell apart. What's life like in Orzammar? I haven't lived in Orzammar for three years, but I receive updates. Is there anything in particular you'd like to know? A dwarf's caste seems to dictate their entire life in Orzammar. I could bore you for hours about our society's castes and the tensions that go along with them. Simply put, citizens of Orzammar are born into a caste, and that is their lot in life. A member of the Smith caste can never join the warrior caste, and vice versa. Everything is predetermined. How's the political climate in Orzammar? There have been riots due to food shortages, but they will pass, I hope. I've no doubt some Deshers will try to use the situation for their own gain. But the King has a good hold over the Assembly. What are Deshers? Members of the Assembly, all noble-born. Through the Assembly, they govern Orzammar. The King presides over them. Do you miss living there? I do sometimes. Particularly the easy access to a warm bath and clean clothes. But the importance of my work outweighs the comforts of the city. That's enough about Orzammar. Of course. We'll speak another time. I've been meaning to ask, Inquisitor. Skyhold, how does it... Well... Hold in the sky. <laughs> the old fall into the sky routine. How do you keep it from floating away? It's built into a mountain. Ah. Held by the stone, then. Shaper Volta said you're a veteran of the Blight. <laughs> I was a wet-nosed recruit. But you survived. Swing your axe long enough. You're bound to hit something. You must have racked up a few stories. Maybe when this is all over, I'll have the time and ale to tell them. Most of Ren's stories end with decapitation. I'm an efficient guy. I'd like to know more about the Legion of the Dead. The Legion's pretty straightforward. We keep the Darkspawn out of Orzammar, and we're sodding good at it. Becoming a Legionnaire is a lifelong oath, one that can't be broken. We celebrate our own funerals before coming to the Deep Roads. As far as our families and Orzammar are concerned, we're already dead. Hence the name. That's quite the commitment. <laughs> it isn't a glamorous life. Every Legionnaire has their own reasons for joining. From the common criminal to the Deep Lord with illusions of grandeur. All are accepted. What about you? Why did you join? I... Had a responsibility. A historian and a soldier. That's an unlikely friendship. What makes you think we're friends? The bickering. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Valta's got the stones of a silent sister. Doesn't mean I won't give her a hard time. Thanks for your time. We don't run into an emissary. Oh, now we definitely will. I take it emissaries are bad. Most darkspawn are mindless killing machines connected by the blight. But emissaries are intelligent and use magic.
to be shrieks. I thought you'd be as kind as that form. Everyone's got their favorites. I'm partial to ogres. Great racks. This belonged to an exiled dwarf. He was experimenting with Warlyrian. <laughs> this door. There's something strange about it. Looks like our construction, but... Hmm. It's missing gears. We have to find them. It's our only way through. the touch. Strange. I don't recognize that metal. But we should only need one more. We have enough of these odd gears. Let's head back to the door. <laughs> it 
It's open. Keep any gears we find. We may need more. And if we don't, I want to study them. Whatever they're made of wasn't mine down here.